Hey yo, what's good, Ron fam? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ivan McCombs, or some of you guys probably know me as the Ramen King. If you're wondering why they call me the Ramen King, like, hey! Ah! Ah! But anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to a recipe that was sent to me via Instagram DMs. This is what that message was. What's good, Ron fam? All right, so I check my DMs on Instagram from time to time just to see what's in there. Usually it's a bunch of bad stuff in there, but I got this really cool message from this lady named Liberty. It says, can I please share my favorite late night cheesy ramen recipe with you i'm like sure let's do it and then she goes on to say okay oh my god this is so funny please just be patient because this is technically drunk slash high ramen okay now i don't encourage anyone to be drunk slash or high but let's see what she said okay that's her favorite ramen and you smash it open it you pour it in okay Take this out. Pour enough water. Just to cover everything. See? Put it in the microwave. For three minutes. Three! three minutes. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get back to it. 50 seconds to go. For three minutes in the microwave. Oh, oh. Okay. You take your little packet, you shake it, put not even half, okay? Like you can't make it too ramen -y. I know that's not a thing, but tonight it is, okay? And then you take <laughs> Boar's Head American <laughs> Cheese. Oh. Boar's Head White American Cheese. I don't have any of that. Boom, you put it in. Very important that there's a little water still left in. Okay. The cheese. There has to be my favorite part about all of it. Oh, it says cayenne pepper right on top. I don't have cayenne pepper either. Like, get it in there. Well, on there, I guess. Okay, and then it should look like that. <laughs> Anywho, just let me like know what you think about it. It's called late night drunk ramen. All right, so I had to cut some of the things she said out of the video because I have a lot of young viewers here, right? There's a lot of young Rom Fam viewers over here and I didn't want to expose you to anything crazy. But again, I don't encourage anyone to drink or do anything else except for eat ramen. You can do that all day. But um, I don't have cayenne pepper or the cheese. So let's go to the store real quick. All right. Yes, yeah, sir. I don't really know what this looks like or if the light quality is even good, but we're gonna go to Kroger really quick. I gotta get two things. I need some cayenne pepper, one. Uh, I think that's what she said. Yeah, cayenne pepper, and I also need boar's head cheese. She didn't really say which one. Boar's head American cheese. It was white, so it could be Swiss, it could be Gouda, it could be mozzarella. I'm gonna go with mozzarella. If they have boar's head mozzarella there, we'll see. But I already have the ramen, so. <sighs> All I can say is say less. What does this look like right now? Do I look weird? Maybe this should be a thumbnail. This one can't really hear, right? I hope not. <laughs> Cayenne pepper, bull's head cheese. Very simple, very easy to do. Shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. Let's get up in here. I swear, walking around with this camera strapped in my head is getting more and more normal. Hey! Oh, excuse me. Oh, cayenne pepper. Do they have an organic version? Oh, why am I even saying that? Doesn't matter if it's organic or not. I was about to say I need new friends, but having new friends is what made me get the organic cayenne pepper. That costs a whole dollar more, but it's better for you, right? Right? Fun fact, I'm only 6'2", but it looks like I'm like 8 feet 30. That's not a real measurement or anything. Is this boar's head? Boar's head, say I don't know which one. Boar's but... head, American cheese. How much is this cheese? Bro, this cheese is $6. What is this? American cheese white 
Is that what she said? Boar's head, American cheese. All right, I'm gonna get pepper jack cheese because I like pepper jack and it's a little bit spicy. Just, 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 just a little bit. So I'm gonna get this. All right, so I got the ingredients that she said. She just said cayenne pepper and cheese in the ramen. I already have the ramen at home, so I only gotta buy that too. All right, so we're gonna. Oop, it didn't say it bad. Oop. I'm telling you. Okay, so I got the wrong cheese. I got the wrong cheese. She said American. I got I got Boris head pepper jack cheese by accident. I thought I didn't know what kind of cheese she said. I completely forgot when I went to the store. But it should do. We got the cheese. We got the cayenne pepper. We're gonna use this rapid ramen cooker for our bowl. And I have the exact same ramen that she said was her favorite, which this brand is really good as well. So, hey, let's, let's, let's make this happen. Okay, so she beat the crap out of her ramen. Bust. Dump that into there. She said to remove where did it go? Like, remove this thing out of there. So we're gonna take this out right here, set that out to the side. Then we're gonna fill this up with water. She said just enough to cover the noodles, right? Just enough to cover the noodles. So I'm using this rapid ramen cooker. I'm gonna fill it to the fill line that's inside of the cooker itself because that is the exact amount of ramen you need to cook ramen really quickly in these bowls for exactly three minutes, just like she said. So. Popping this baby in the microwave. Three minutes in the microwave. What, what? <laughs> All right, here we go. Boom, it's done. Three minutes in the microwave. I'm gonna use a fork. I don't usually use a fork because I uh, use chopsticks most times, but since we crushed it up, yeah, look at that. Look how perfectly cooked it is. Yes, sir. All right, cool. So I think, what she do? She added the seasoning packet, but only half. Only half of the seasoning packet, all right? Because you don't want it too ramen -y. eat. All right, so only half of the seasoning packet. It's a little more than half, but she'll forgive me, I hope. All right. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. Okay, so boom, I'm gonna add the cayenne pepper. I've never had cayenne pepper in my ramen before um, at all. Okay, so she said, really get it in there. So really get it in there. Get it in there. All right, cool, back. I got the wrong cheese. Forgive me, I apologize. But let's put some of these slices of, oh, this cheese looks good though. Let's put some slices of cheese on there. All right, I'll just do two. And uh, I'll try all my son. Boy, I said put his foot in this one. All right, hopefully this cheese will melt, but we're gonna pour some of the, the ramen on top of it and let it sit for a good second or so. He's just starting to melt. Can you see it? You see the strings? Ooh. Let's see if she wasn't lying. Do you think it's gonna be busting or is it not gonna be busting? I don't know. She drank a lot of water in that video, so her taste buds might have been a little bit construed. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, hold up now. <laughs> Don't do it to him! Ooh, look at that cheese! Oh my god! No! Ooh. Ooh, like that! Girl, you put your foot in this recipe! Bro, the flavors is really good. The cayenne pepper, you can taste it. That's what's giving that little bit of. Mm. Bro, mm -mm. that was good. That right there is a 10. It's a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna get out a definite 10 out of 10. That was busting. Bro, oh, man. If you want me to do your recipe next, be sure to tag me on Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Be sure to tag me on TikTok and be sure to follow me on TikTok. And just like shoot me a message, bro. I get a lot of messages, so I go through them every freaking week. So I would love to try your recipe for real. Cause this one right here, they taste as good as this one tasted. Right here. One bite, one bite, one, one, one bite. If they taste like you put your foot in it, send me that recipe, please. It would be awesome if you send me videos, but if you cannot do that because of age restrictions and whatnot, I understand. You can just send me the detailed list of what I need to buy and how to make it, and I'll try it next time.
Anyway, thank you so much for submitting this recipe. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm gonna finish this though, all right? Peace. I think I should let him go. I wonder if heaven's doors open for everyone. I see that the devil run along with the angels. I'm still angry at my pops, though we dead and gone. Some cuts turn to scars and they stay for good. Got too many things I wish that I never saw, things that I never heard.